Hey guys, what's up? Um, back with another video. Uh, this time we're gonna do, uh, it's that time of the week again. Monday Night Rule Review. Uh, we have the Monday Night Rule Review from, uh, what was the date last night? June 13th, 2022. Got the results right in front of me, cause, uh, you know, even though I got notes in front of me, sorry. Let's, let's do this, shall we? Uh, first, so we kick off the show with a Miss TV segment. Uh, a lot to unpack here. Uh, it was a Miz TV segment with Paul Heyman uh, talking about money in the bank and possibly cashing in on Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns' championship match this Friday against Matt Riddle, against Riddle, uh, which featured it, which, um, speak of the devil, uh, Riddle came out, then Riddle came out. Uh, Riddle interrupted Miz, they talked about balls. Paul Heyman said that you must have big balls for coming out here. And challenging Roman Reigns and all that stuff. And Mitt Riddle says, speaking of balls, how is yours, Miz? Because last week they did the whole thing where the, it, Riddle implied that Miz had small balls. PG show, guys. PG show. Anyway, uh, uh, Paul Heyman put a stipulation on the Friday's match where if Riddle loses, he will never get a, another championship opportunity again as long as Roman Reigns is the Universal champ, the WWE Universal Champion. Undisputed Universal Champion, sorry. Um, and then, of course, the Usos came out uh, to attack Riddle. And then the Street Profits came out to make the save. And that led it into the next segment. But first, um, this segment was alright. It was fine. It, it was a bit, bit of a mixed bag. It was usual... It was the usual stuff that they usually do where they would do a segment with involving two guys and then the, the person who they're feuding with would come out and then someone else would come out and it would lead to a match and blah, blah, blah. It was the usual concept. It was fine. I had no problem with it. Uh, yeah. Which led us, led, yeah, that led us into the next, uh, ne the next uh, segment or well, the match. First match of the evening, we had Jimmy Uso defeating Montez Ford. It was all right. Uh, not much to it. Just you know, fifty-fifty booking. Uh, you know, because the, uh, the Street Profits beat the Usos last week to, in a championship contenders match. So this week, you see, um, Jimmy beats Montez. So I expect Jay to fight Dawkins at some point. So it is what it is. Um, I'm looking forward to their eventual tag team title match, possibly at Money in the Bank. So uh, yeah, Jimmy gets the win here, and uh, one more for the good guys, I guess. The Bloodline. Uh, Seth freaking Rollins cuts a, a promo on, uh, you know, he asked, but he explained, he had to explain his actions from attacking Cody last week and injuring him. And, uh, he said it was basically for the greater good and, you know, you have to adapt or perish. And he called Cody Rhodes a virus, which was kind of on the bit of the, you know, kind of, ooh, ooh, yeah. Especially with how the last two years have gone down. Kind of a bit weird, you know, kind of a bit of a, ooh, ooh. Hit the bone a little bit, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's the way it is. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what about Seth Rollins, Seth freaking Rollins, though. Uh, his laugh is infectious. Uh, I, every now and then when I see something funny, I, I just find myself going, <laughs> I'm like, Jesus Christ, man. You know what I mean? So, I just have to get that in, that in there. Anyway, AJ Styles sucker punches a, a Seth Rollins and says, that one was for Cody. Because um, AJ and Seth are having a qualifying match for the Money in the Bank briefcase. One Money Bank contract, sorry. And yeah, it was a fine segment. I like, you know, I like that promo. Good promo from Seth freaking Rollins. Then we had uh, Becky Lynch, what well, was supposed to get Becky Lynch versus uh, Dana Brooke for, in a rematch for the 24-7 title. But Becky was so angry after losing last week that she just attacked Dana Brooke before the match. Uh, the match never got started. Uh, Becky Lynch just beat the shit out of Dana Brooke and uh, left her lane. And then she grabbed the mic and basically said that she, you know, she she's uh, angry and, you know, she's an angry mess, all, supposedly. And she wants to she wants to win Money in the Bank, basically, because it's Money in the Bank season. So everyone wants to win Money in the Bank. So Becky Lynch wants to be in Money in the Bank. Uh, she goes to attack... Uh, Goes to attack Dana Brooke more. I forgot for a, forgot a name for a moment there. Uh, she forgot. She went to attack Dana Brooke, and Asuka came out to save the day. And Becky makes Becky retreat. It was what it was. It was a fine segment. You know, Becky. 
Becky, uh, Becky and Seth are basically uh, the some of my favorite parts of Money Night Raw at the moment. Their heel characters are just so awesome. Like I like I like what they're doing with their characters. I never thought I would say that about Seth Rollins, especially after 2019. But you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Anyway, so yeah, that, so Asuka makes the save and they have a brawl. And it looks like we're going to have a Becky Lynch Asuka Money in the Bank qualifying match next week to determine who's going to uh, be in Money in the Bank. Speaking of the women's Money in the Bank ladder match, we had a tag team match next as the Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan defeated the team of Dewdrop and uh, Nikki, Nikki A.S.H. I wish that she would change her name back to Nikki Cross because I'm so sick and tired of saying Nikki A.S.H. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, here's what it is. Uh, Liv Morgan and Alexa Bliss, I'm glad to see them teaming up together. Hopefully, this isn't a, just a one-off, but uh, you never know with WWE. Uh, there again, but the, what are they going to go for at the moment? The tag team titles? Like, won't be surprised, but you know, you know that always leads to. They won't get along that. They won't, they won't be as fun as uh, people are expecting it to be, so it's going to be fun while it lasts, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, anyway, they, they qualify. They, it was a good match. Uh, Liv Morgan and Alexa Bliss beating Nikki A.S.H. and Dudwap. It was a fine, fine encounter. Um, nothing really much to add, really. It was, you know, they qualified and then they punched up the briefcase. That was what it was. Uh, this match, next match, no, some more 50-50 booking right here. We have Ezekiel defeating Kevin Owens uh, by Countel. This match is going on all right until the very finish. Uh, basically, Kevin, they were basically beating each other up on the outside, and Kevin threw Ezekiel back in the ring, and then he heard the commentators call Ezekiel, you know, Ezekiel, and Kevin Owens shouted at him and started getting angry and threw um, announce table, the announce table equipment all, all over the place, and then stood on the announce table shouting, It's Elias! It's Elias! And basically got counted out. So kind of a lame DQ, lame count out, which got, allowed Ezekiel to get the win. But it is what it is. Anyway, the, uh, after the match, Ezekiel announced that next week on Raw, um, his brother Elias will be making his return. Uh, so, with a concert. So that should be very interesting. I wonder how they're going to pull that off. I don't know. Is, if, is, um, Ezekiel going to, Grow his beard back in next. Ne- is Ezekiel going to grow his beard for the next several days, or are they going to? Or the rumor going around, or are they just going to have Damian Sando come back and have him dress up as Elias? That would be kind of funny. Anyway, I'm looking. I'm um in- kind of intrigued about that, so we'll see. We'll see that next week. Anyway, MVP beat Cedric Alexander. Not much to add here. It was a squash match. MVP squashed him, and then Ormos teased that he might be in money. He wants to be in money in the bank. Which is a bad idea, you know. Almost the money in the bank, kind of funny. Uh, next match we have the, which should have been the main event. Seth freaking Rollins defeated AJ Styles to qualify for Money in the Bank. This match also was awesome. Uh, I don't really need to. If there's one thing from Raw you need to go out and out your way and watch, AJ Styles versus Seth Rollins or Seth freaking Rollins. Great match. Uh, I was expecting a Judgment Day interference, but they didn't. I was kind of surprised, and Seth rolled him up for the pin and got the win. So Seth uh, advances, but really good match, as you can, as you can expect. It's AJ Styles and Seth freaking Rollins. So uh, yeah, great match, and uh, should have been the main event, but it wasn't. We had another hour to go. Uh, luckily, I'll go. I'll go through these very quickly. Uh, Riddle then took on. Champa, Riddle took on Champa and defeated him. Uh, not much to it, very hard hitting match, but uh, it went like four minutes and then Riddle just pinned him with the RKO and uh, to get, gain a little bit of momentum going into Friday in the title match against Roman. Uh, then we had a Bianca Belair interview where she talked about her upcoming match at Money in the Bank against uh, Rhea Ripley. And then the, the Judgment Day came on the screen and you can tell that they're supernatural and they're spooky because they had dark lighting. They were in a dark room. Ooh. And they talked about how they're different and how how they're sick of being nice. And, you know, the usual nonsense stuff. Like, oh, we're sick of being nice. Blah, 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 blah. You know, that old stuff. 
it is what it is, and uh, yeah, that was their that was their that was their um, exclamation, uh, their their follow up for attack, after attacking edge. Uh, after that one, we had uh, we had Chad Gable defeating Mustafa Ali. Not much to you know. It was what it was. Uh, it's just you know Chad Gable and uh, the numbers game got the better of uh, Ali with Otis being on the outside and Chad Gable got the win. Nothing much to it. Uh, Veer Mahan beat Rey Mysterio. This was the opposite of the numbers game. Uh, the the baby faces had the numbers game, but the the size advantage got the better of uh, the Mysterios this time. As uh, Veer Mahan easily defeated the Mysterio Rey Mysterio with the submission. I forgot what it's called. It's something clutch or something. I forgot what it's called. Sorry guys. And yeah. Uh, anyway, the the main event. <laughs> Get ready for this if you haven't heard already. If you haven't heard, this was the main event segment. Bobby Lashley took on Austin, uh, sorry, Theory, the United States Champion Theory, in a pose down. Yes, you you heard that correctly, a pose down. Um, I'm not going to give a, I'm not going to go, uh, I'm not going to analyze this uh, too much. They had a pose down. Uh, Theory went first, the crowd booed. Bobby Lashley posed, the crowd cheered. Bobby Lashley wins because it was a crowd, uh, the crowd were the judges. And then the heel spray, you know, Elster, you know, Fury sprayed, um, what was it? Body oil? Body oil, what you know, what you put on your, what, I don't, I've never been in a fucking bodybuilding car, I've never been, been in a pose down before, so. <laughs> uh, that'll be a starter. Scary fourth right there, me in a pose down. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah, you the, uh, theory sprayed Lashley in the eyes with body oil, and then uh, drop kicked him out the ring, and then took a selfie as Bobby was as Bobby was uh, attended to by uh, referee uh, referees to take you know to try get the body oil out of his eyes. So uh, yeah, and that's how Raw went off the air with theory celebrating. Um, kind of a weird last hour. Like the last hour was kind of eh. But Seth Ricky, if there's anything to go out your way and see, uh, Seth Ricky and Rollins versus AJ Styles uh, was awesome. And uh, as I said before, and I said earlier, as I said earlier in the in the show in the in the review, uh, Becky Lynch and Seth Ricky and Rollins, the stuff right now is uh, probably some of the best stuff in uh, in. To, you know, some of the some of the I really enjoy the Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch stuff from Raw. Uh, never thought I'd say that about Steph after 2019. I've already said that, but uh, you know, it was what it was. You know, their stuff in the last couple of months have been awesome. You know, Steph's feud with Cody and uh, Becky's descension into madness, I guess. Uh, his, her descension into madness about losing the, the Raw Women's title. Uh, it's been some really good storytelling. And uh, yeah, uh, anyway, that's it for now. That's the Raw review. Uh, I'll be back in. The, I'll be back soon for my DVD pickup videos because I got yeah, a couple of deliveries today. So uh, yeah, that's it for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed the raw review for this week. Uh, sorry that it wasn't. Uh, you know, sorry that it wasn't the same in the same format as last week. and back to this format. You know, the no, no, nothing to look at screen because uh, I haven't got the PS4 um, tuned up today. Yeah, I've got the, I'm going plugged it, you know, I'm going on, and this was kind of a last minute, you know, not not last minute decision, but it was kind of, uh, it was what it was, you know, let's just say that. So anyway, anyway guys, that's it for now, and I'm out. Kaboosh! Fun to the